Hi there. My name is Sarah Hines and I'm an artist in residence at UF Health Shands Hospital. I'd like to share an activity with you today on drawing what you see and then adding a little color. Here's what you'll need to get started. Watercolor paper, a pencil, some watercolors and brushes, and a fine tip Sharpie or other water fast pen. All right, let's get started. Observational drawing simply means drawing what you see. In today's activity, I'm going to practice by just drawing my hand. I already did a few samples. This one is called a blind contour drawing. That means that I did this drawing without looking at my paper once. Here's a few other practice pieces that I did to warm up. Now we'll do one together. I'll hold my hand in a comfortable position and start out with a pencil. I'm gonna start out by just making what I call construction lines, the basic shapes that form the hand. The palm of the hand is kind of a lopsided trapezoid and the fingers splay out just a bit. The length of the palm and the middle finger are about the same so I can kind of do some measuring here and make some guidelines. Your drawing may look different depending on how you're holding your hand. And don't expect these to be perfect. It's just practice. I'm gonna bring in this big muscle that forms the base of my thumb. With pencil, I can always come back in and erase. When I'm working on a drawing like this, it often feels like I'm pushing my boundaries and pushing the drawing to be the best it can be. Watch with me in time lapse as I continue to push this drawing and then I'll show you a way to add color. All right, it's not perfect, but it'll do. I'm gonna come in and erase my pencil lines, leaving just my ink pen behind. For this project, you'll wanna use an ink pen that is not water soluble. 
I'm using a fine tip Sharpie and that works quite well. Now, I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna wet just my hand with plain water. Coming in and getting just the inside of this hand wet with plain water. Probably looks invisible on the video right now. Once my paper is wet, I can use these watercolors to add some abstract color to my design. The watercolor will only bleed as far as the wet paper allows it to go. I'm gonna get abstract and I'm just gonna throw in some different colors here. Because the paper is wet, the color blends beautifully. Adding in different colors to the wet paper and letting them blend. I really enjoy combining Sharpie or another water fast pen with watercolor. You can see in some places where my colors are blending, I'm getting new colors. I've got a nice green going on here. I could also do this without wetting the paper first, but the colors wouldn't blend in the same way. When you're working with wet on wet, the paper gets quite soggy and if you need to move your artwork before it dries, you want to make sure not to tip the paper or your design could change drastically. I'm ready to set this one aside for right now. And I just want to show you a few other ideas with this concept. This is a flower that I drew from observation earlier, and I'm just gonna play with the idea of wet on wet again, but instead of going within the petals, I'm just gonna throw some water around the top of the flower. Now, when I do wet on wet, adding color, the colors will bleed beyond the edges of the flower. I'm gonna stick with warm colors for this one. Red, then orange, and finally, lots of yellow. Even gonna let a little more water get on my paper here, just plain water. And if I want to change my design, like I said earlier, I can tip my paper back and forth, letting those colors blend even more. Another fun idea with this design is I can take some of these watercolors here, I've got a bunch of extra, or I can dip in the paint one more time and place my finger in front of my painting and add some splatter. One more trick with watercolors and we'll be done. I drew my coffee cup here 
and I'm going to add in some colorful steam. So I'm adding in, just with plain water, the shape in which I would like the steam to fill in. And now, I can drop in some color while the paper is still wet and the edges of that wet paper act as a dam for my color. Observational drawing takes a lot of practice and sometimes having some fun tricks like this to add at the end can make it feel more rewarding. That must be some cup of coffee. All right, thanks so much for tuning in today to watch me do a figure drawing lesson, and then take those ink drawings and add some color. Have a good day.